to uh, a job 22 uh, called uh, time travel and uh, let's just get right to it and ignore and uh, skip past all the uh, other silly things I usually do uh, it's uh, 7 <coughs> 7 30 at night p.m. I had the intention on recording um, I had the intention to record an A-job, uh, this, this particular A-job, earlier this morning, and I realized that it's going to probably take some time, so I'm trying not to waste too much of your time with watching uh, <clears throat> watching me hum and haw, but in the same regard, I haven't really eaten today, I had lunch, so I actually did get a pizza, actually the pizza was bought for me, so Domino's Pizza, uh, it may save your life, and if you die of eating a pizza, uh, if you die eating this pizza, at least you know that somebody might find your dead body. It's my slight comical reference to some latest news. Uh, it's a coincidence that uh, Domino, Domino's got that news after they've been like uh, bailed out and there's actually a government handout uh, being involved in uh, uh, Domino's Corporation right now, so it has a vested interest in seeing the company uh, do well. At the same time, you also see them on TV with these crazy news stories. Not that they're not good news stories, but anyway, I'm going to have a few slices of pizza while I talk about this brog. But, um, the brog is called Time Travel, and I wrote a little piece uh, about time travel a little while ago, which is really short, and uh, but I've had this on my mind for the last little while talking about time travel, um, to talk about time travel. The first thing I would like to uh, show is the pyramid, the Abydos, Abydos in Egypt, there's these uh, hieroglyphs on the wall. Uh, and bear with me one second, I will show you what I'm talking about. <clears throat> All right. Now this is a copy of the picture of the, the pyramids in Abydos, Egypt, and what you can make out here is pretty clearly a tank. This is a helicopter. This looks like a flying disc, and this could be related to uh, the Hanebu, Hanebu uh, German flying disc, and this is like a land cruiser or something. And uh, these are not only in Abydos, Egypt for the naysayers out there. The carvings like this have been seen in, in Mexican pyramids. And not only that, there's not only, for those of you who are just tuning into the whole pyramid situation, there's not just pyramids in Egypt, there's pyramids all over the world. And uh, they recently found uh, pyramids. Uh, I forgot the name, Bosnia, in Bosnia. So, uh, let's talk about the uh, UFO or um, helicopters on the uh, Abydos pyramids for a second. Mm. I just got um, pepperoni and, sorry, onion pepperoni. I just got um, pineapple. Starts with a P. And cheese. We're listening to uh, Chevelle, Paint the Seconds. And I've had the song stuck in my head. It's off uh, Venus era. No, <clears throat> not even their latest CD. All right, back to uh, side issue. Back to the pyramids. Well, the, what I wanted to talk about is time travel. Now, the question is, why is there pictures of Black Hawk helicopters, Bradley tanks? and flying discs on the pyramids. Why are they there? Did somebody back then um, 
see, and use some sort of divination and look into the future? Or do we right now have the capability to time travel and did we go back to the times, you know, when these pyramids uh, were built in Abydos, Egypt thousands of years ago and did we make a, a presence known and was somebody recording that or other other possibility that uh, an, an advanced civilization uh, before, before uh, the Egyptian one had tanks and helicopters and all that and you know where are they today I don't know a few possibilities Excuse me. For the people, Hanabu, Herman, for the people who out there who think that flying discs that some people call UFOs are crazy, the Hanabu, uh, let's see. Hanabu. There's a, di a diagram of it. Um, it's a German flying disc uh, that was developed in the 40s and 50s, I believe. And uh, that was admitted. And you can find pictures of it. And uh, there's even YouTube videos of the Hanabu. And there's. So. That technology, anti-gravitational disc flight, was available in the Nazi uh, regime <laughs> special uh, operations in the 50s. Now, the U.S. Air Force had... Uh, has flying disc as well. You can Google that. So, my point is here. Man-made flying discs exist, whether you believe they do or not. They do. Uh, there's pictures of them. You've, I've seen them with my own eyes, not in real life, but in print and on video and watched other people testify to the fact that man-made flying discs are real. The question, if you want to go one step further, is were they reverse engineered from uh, other sources from extraterrestrial or whatever, but flying discs and, the, and their existence aren't debatable. Well, anti gravity technology, electromagnetic levitation, isn't debatable. That 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 exists on this in this reality. And like some pretty easy, some pretty simple to replicate um, time dilation experiments on YouTube. Time dilation is when, say, like an example of it is when you have two stopwatches synced together perfectly, and in one, at the same time rather, you you press them on, right? So they're the exact same time. Now, you leave one, get in your car, and drive 100 kilometers an hour or 60 60 miles an hour. For like a half an hour, come back, and the and the one versus the other will be milliseconds off, and this has been replicated on YouTube. Well, I'm not gonna pretend like I know everything about how gravity affects time, but for a layperson like myself who does his own research, it's pretty easy to understand. Hey. Let's start right here. These hands are in a world that is affected by gravity. The atoms in my hands are affected by gravity. Every lip, everything around me is built of atoms. You're welcome. And atoms are held together by gravity. So, if you mess with gravity, it's pretty safe to say that you're you you are also messing with the the very fabric of what we consider linear reality um, and so if you can make something levitate and have anti-gravity 
and have its own gravitational field and then fly it at an incredible speed maybe even off world and then come back not 60 kilometers an hour or 60, 60 miles an hour or 100 kilometers an hour but say like ridiculous speeds like past the sound barrier it won't just be seconds that have passed but it will be it will be maybe hours or days that have passed maybe even years this is all up to speculation but what I'm talking about so far in this brog are things that are provable demonstrations of time travel now this that was this whole little part that I just said there has been floating around my mind for like the last three months just to, to say that out and get it on the record that on a very scientific level and people that understand that time travel is possible that's not debatable now for for those for those people who who maybe not will go that way I'm gonna attack you guys from another way